Okay, so for this program, we're going to look into functions a little bit more. So this program is going to be, uh, we'll convert temperature. So we'll take a Fahrenheit temperature from the user input, and the program will convert it to a Celsius program. So first thing we'll do is define a function. Define a function called, called convert f for like convert Fahrenheit. And it'll take in a variable called f temp. So that f temp variable here will be a user input variable that we'll define later on. Um, so inside the variable, we'll, inside the function, we'll make a variable called c, which will stand for Celsius. So c equals f temp minus 32, and outside these parentheses, times, and then parentheses again, 5 divided by 9. So that's the formula for converting a uh, temperature in Fahrenheit to Celsius. So now we've got that math out of the way. You can do a print statement. Print, oops. Print F temp Fahrenheit is equal to, and then we'll, uh, should we round this? I think we should round it. So like I said before, Python does a little bit weird. It's percent point two F. So this will be, Actually, let's do percent point three f. So it'll be three paces after the decimal point. You know, just a little bit more precision. So then another percent, and then c for Celsius, comma to concatenate, and then just words that say. I think I spelled that right. Celsius. Okay. Um, so that's all for the function. So now we'll actually define this variable up here. This this user input variable f temp. So this is where the user will enter in the Fahrenheit temperature that they're going to convert. So f, f temp equals, uh, let's make it a float inputs, enter Fahrenheit temp to convert. So now that we have that, all we have to do is the output section. So Output will be convert f, f temp. So this line right here is the output. This is the line that calls this function. So basically, this function is defined up here, and then the function is called down here. And between them, this is where the actual user input is. So the user input f temp goes into a function, and we use it inside the function and then we call the function down here. So the function doesn't actually return anything like last time. So in a way, it's actually simpler. So assuming we got everything right, let's run this program and see what happens. Enter Fahrenheit temperature to convert. 32 degrees. 32 Fahrenheit is equal to zero Celsius. Yep, that is true. All right, let's run it again with a different temperature. Um, 80 degrees Fahrenheit is 26.667 Celsius. So that's three points after the decimal, which is which is that right there. So if we wanted to have more precision, we could do like nine points after the decimal and we're on the program again. So what if we do like 80 degrees? Whoa, that is some precise data. Okay, what if we don't? What if we just want it like zero? We just want the gist of it. 80 degrees. It's 27 Celsius, about 27 Celsius. Okay, well, I think it's a good place to stop for this, but you know, we're learning more stuff. We're learning more about more advanced functions, how function calls work and all that. So I'll see you in the next video.